Yo, what up, bro? So I just finished a boxing session and I was thinking about this topic the entire time I was boxing, bro, and I wanted to talk about it. In the past five months, and particularly the past two months, I've made so much progress in so many different areas of my life, all right? I, five months ago, I was 244 pounds, and right now I'm 195. I'm, I'm down 50 pounds in the past five months. In the past two months, I've, <laughs> I've started boxing and I'm getting noticeably better every single time I come out here to box. And also, in the past month, I've nearly doubled my subscribers on YouTube. And I'm finally consistent with my YouTube channel. I'm finally consistent with all these habits. I'm finally consistent getting up when I want to. I'm finally consistent in building the image of myself that I've always had. You know, building the actual person as opposed to just what I thought of in my head. You know what I mean? And it's interesting, man. I always hear from people when they're talking about success, right? They always say, you, you can never be satisfied. You always have to keep moving forward. And that's true. That's very, very true. But there is, it's an asterisk, asterisk, a caveat. I don't know. There's a, there's a thing that you have to remember when, when you're talking about never being satisfied. Okay. You have to be grateful for where you're at. You have to be happy with your progress, but eager for more. You always have to be striving for more, but you do have to have some level of gratitude and some level of, you know, just true, like, contentment with where you're at but it can never be enough to the point where you become complacent okay and there's a reason for this okay and it's not just like you, you have to be happy in the moment and happy in the future it's not about that it's about frequencies okay you can never make progress from a low frequency you can never escape a low frequency habit when you're in a low frequency you'll always seek things that are in the same frequency as where you're at so when I was addicted to weed, when I was addicted to video games, when I was addicted to instant gratification in general, junk food, anything I could get my hands on that was instant gratification, I was always in a negative state of anxiety, of guilt, of shame. I was shameful of the things that I was doing, so I continued to do those things because like attracts like, right? If I'm in a negative state, I'll attract negative things into my life. If I'm in a negative state, I'll want to do more negative things. But if you flip it, right? If you flip it, if you're in a positive state of acceptance, right? Acceptance is the biggest one. Acceptance and I guess pride, being proud isn't considered like, I guess that's like a sin. Acceptance, you know, excitement, faith, belief, these things where you believe that you can do things, you believe what you can do, you believe what's coming to you, you believe in yourself, <laughs> you start to act as if you're someone who will get that stuff. You understand what I mean? It's so, so important for you to consistently pay attention to your internal state and monitor it and make sure that it's always in a high frequency because that'll attract to you more high frequency things. I started finally being consistent with my morning routine, with my daily habits, and finally removing all these negative things from my life that started happening when every morning when I woke up, I would read my higher self journal, I would reflect on my past day and see what I was proud of and what I regretted, and then I would write about how I'm going to do better today, okay? My whole life changed when I started doing that because I went into every single day feeling positive about where I was headed, knowing exactly what I was going to do and understanding how it was going to happen. It's so, so important, bro. It's so fucking important. If you're going to be, if you're going to be aiming for something, if you're, if you want to become something different, you can never get there while you're feeling shameful of yourself, while you're feeling negative about yourself. So you have to feel okay with yourself. And if you're going to feel okay with yourself, it starts with action. It doesn't start with just changing a feeling. It starts with the action that you take. There's something that I talk about in a little ebook that I'm writing. Motivation and momentum are manufactured, okay? They're, they're not things that just kind of come to you and you, you're like happy when they're there and then you're sad when they're not. They are results of you taking the right actions. So people think motivation comes and then you take actions and then you get results and then you wait for motivation again. 
that's not how it works. You, <laughs> you take action, okay? Action leads to results, and those results give you motivation to do more. And that cycle is momentum. The more actions that you take, the more momentum you'll build, the more results you'll get, and the more motivation you'll feel. And if you continue that cycle, you'll constantly in, be in a, in a high frequency state. Okay? And if you're, if you're away from the shame, the guilt, the negative frequencies, you will constantly be bringing in positive things, bro. That's what was on my mind. Because again, I've made so much progress in the past five months and I'm super grateful for the progress I've made, but I'm still striving for more. I'm always wanting more and I'm, I'm so bad with patience too. I always want it right now. I want it quick, but I'm doing my best to also focus on being in a high frequency state at all times. I don't feel guilty about the decisions that I make because I make sure that every time I make a decision, I ask myself, am I going to regret that later? And if I'm going to regret that later, I don't do it. And it didn't start like that. A lot of the times I would ask myself, am I going to regret this later? Probably, but I'm still going to do it. I used to do that. But slowly over time, that happened less and less and less. And now, it honestly, bro, it doesn't happen. It's been a long time since I've felt that shame and guilt and regret. And because of that, I'm now seeing progress in every area of my, area of my life at a way higher level than I ever have before. And I'm so excited to see where it goes. You see what I mean? So <laughs> there it is. I'm in a high frequency state because of the progress I'm making. And that's building momentum and causing motivation to go for more. To go towards more. This is something that you make for yourself. It's not something that just kind of happens, bro. <laughs> Do something that you'll be proud of yourself of today. And for a few days coming after that. And then keep that cycle going, bro. I appreciate you watching. I hope this gave you some something to think about, I guess. Peace out, bro.